in practice, what motivates us to pursue the pursue our goals, whatever that may be, is the pursuit of beauty. So we usually do not have any practical applications in mind when we are constructing our theory. What motivates us instead is the internal beauty of the things that we create. These are so intricate and so unreal, so that some people think that we are not creating these mathematical structures, instead we are discovering it from uh, some sort of a nature. And this is what gives us the pure joy. And I think the motivation is very similar to that, those of artists. Yeah, on the surface of it, mathematics is very dry. So you prove some statement, and the proof is a long list of sentences. And each sentence is deduced from the previous sentence from a, some sort of a trivial logical implication. There is no reason to expect beauty in any of this. It's a, just a dry logical deduction, sentence number one, sentence number two, and so on and so on. But what actually happens is when we are doing this thing, the end result is surprising in the sense that there is nothing surprising happening in between sentence number 100 and num num 100 number 1. But the end result after building the whole package is something that goes beyond our naive intuition. And this is what makes us happy. And the world that we are creating are initially very individual. It came from the mind of one or two mathematicians. But in the end, if you look at the environment that we created in this abstract world as a whole, they are so tightly linked to each other. So that makes you wonder whether what we have built is not an abstract and artificial creation of human mind, but rather of some part of nature that's floating around and we happen to accidentally uncovered a small portion of it because there's it feels as if there should be a whole very large universe of abstract structures that are entirely connected to each other and we are scratching the surface from this direction and that direction and that direction and sometimes they are linked by some sort of a wormhole set we find it very fascinating